Hello YouTube, Tinfall Hat Lady here. Um, I made a little snide comment about Jesus and I got slapped. And I just thought maybe I'd just do a little video uh, just to let you guys know what I think about religion. And uh, maybe give you some hints to follow, to do a little research on it for yourself. First of all, I highly recommend researching a topic called astrotheology. And uh, I guess that's sort of defined as how the stars are related to what we call religions. Uh, Jordan Maxwell, fantastic researcher into astrotheology and all of his work, of course, on many other topics. That's a good place to start. And then, of course, all the symbolism that you have uh, with Masonic lodges, um, relationships to the ancient calendars, Mayan calendar, the I Ching, the Vedic or Hindu timekeeping system from India. Some of the similarities there. Basically, it's a reflection of the reality moving around us. And uh, that's the divine nature that we've created a mythos around, personifying it into different saviors. Uh oh, cats are fighting. Uh, in our culture, Jesus is personified. Uh, and I believe it's, uh, he's the personification of the sun. The sun uh, being the star that gives us light, the light of God. And there's many other implications with that because there's intelligence that can be transmitted through light, i.e. fiber optics. And uh, the sun might have a, a huge intelligence behind it that is linked to our biology that's changing right now. However, the story that we're told, the, the whole Bible story, you know, Noah's Ark, Jesus, the whole thing that I learned in Baptist Sunday School. Yeah, I went to Baptist Sunday School and then to uh, Catholic School. And then I was introduced to Judaism and uh, Wicca, some of the earth-based philosophies. Um, I did travel to India for many reasons. And uh, regardless, what I've, what I've learned, I think, I believe, in my opinion, freedom from religion is the best thing for all of us. Growing up and taking personal responsibility for your ass being incarnate here, right here, right now, in the now, I love Eckhart Tolle. In the now, the now. You're sitting here on this planet in this beautiful Eden with these trees and rocks and what do you choose to do? What do you want? You're fine. You were created perfect. Experience yourself. And uh, the lie of um, wanting to chase externally the concept of becoming. Oh, I gotta go to the future to be happy. Is the illusion. And uh, so there you go. So that's. I'm sorry if once in a while I, I poke out and I say, "Bah, Jesus is the Jesus is the sheeple leader." <clears throat> Sometimes I just can't help it. You know, nobody's perfect. So stay cool and uh, enjoy your day. And there you go. That's my opinion on religion. People don't really know why we need it. Um, one rule, golden rule, the spiral, the phi ratio, pi ratio. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. Because we're all you. That's it. Peace out. Good book. Um, here's a little PS. Again, this is why I have a problem with religion. At the core of all utopian visions lies one of the main structural dysfunctions of the old consciousness. Looking to the future for salvation. Looking to the future for salvation. The only existence the future actually has is as a thought form in your mind. So when you look to the future for salvation, oh, he's coming. 
you are unconsciously looking to your own mind for salvation. You are trapped in form and that is ego. There you go. Oh, it's all so complicated, but yet not. <laughs>